neuroscience has a lot of data to process and understand. And uh, uh, if you don't have good potential mathematical models to analyze these data, there's no way you're going to be able to make sense out of them. So we need strong uh, mathematical models to analyze the, the host of data that people are, are collecting uh, using the, these measuring uh, devices, uh, brain activity measuring devices like uh, MRI, uh, EEG, MEG, uh, single and multiple electrodes recordings. So we do need uh, to uh, develop, use and develop mathematical frameworks for analyzing these data. Uh, usually in computational, what's, what's called uh, computational neuroscience, what people do is uh, they write a model of the, the problem, uh, neuroscientific problem that they're trying to uh, understand, analyze. They write a, a model, a set of equations. They simulate these equations. And if the agreement with their simulations and the data they have been able to collect, they, they're happy. But this is not an explanation. This, uh, it's just a computation model, and there's no, there's no theory. There's no, there's no deep understanding of what's going on. So this is what we want to uh, slowly change, perhaps. Uh, so this is a trend we would like to slowly change, bring more math to neuroscience, uh, attract mathematicians uh, professional mathematicians to look at problems in neuroscience and attract people in computational neuroscience towards using more mathematics and bringing more proofs in their in their papers in the way they analyze the data so that we can start building a, a strong platform a solid strong platform on which we can develop a, a theoretical neuroscience The kind of contributions uh, we are expecting for the journals are contributions from mathematicians working in neuroscience. So by this, I mean papers with a strong mathematical content, uh, theorems, uh, lemmas, uh, proofs, uh, but the, that uh, bear upon a real neuroscience problem. This is usually very hard work, and uh, there are lots of open problems in mathematics, uh, but this opens the door to a very interesting results in neuroscience. <laughs> the second kind of papers would be more um, computational uh, or physics-oriented papers, uh, perhaps data analysis-like papers, but where uh, the authors clearly indicate where in their analysis uh, some open uh, mathematical questions may lie, or uh, some problems that they were, some theorems that they were not able to solve uh, would, be, uh, would be of importance to be solved. So we are trying to attract two kinds of uh, researchers, pure mathematicians attracted by neuroscience and neuroscientists that have uh, a tendency toward uh, towards rigor. We will not ask uh, the authors to, to pay. Uh, and I, I did find a non-profit organization which is uh, supported by, I would say the French, so far the French taxpayers who pay for the author processing charges. The net result being that uh, the papers which are accepted in a diamond access, uh, diamond open access uh, uh, scheme, do not have to pay any APCs, and all the papers are completely free open access.